The executive director of the Remember the Alamo Foundation has resigned. The foundation is the private fundraising arm of the Alamo Plaza Redevelopment Plan. The plan has hit a lot of roadblocks and criticism since its reveal, including outcry over the plexiglass wall that would surround the plaza, relocation of the Cenotaph, and the closure of Alamo and Crockett Streets to vehicular traffic. Leon Valley police have busted a large mail theft operation. The arrest of two people related to the case led police to hundreds of pieces of mail at a hotel room on Bandera Road. Police say the two were burglarizing cluster and private mailboxes in the area. Our business news update now with Tony Casada from the San Antonio Business Journal. Thanks, Sherry. Hart Hanks, the San Antonio-based global marketing company, plans to lay off about 460 employees in Texas. The cuts will affect employees at its Texarkana Center and are expected to begin as soon as April 19th. A spokesman said they resulted from one large client changing how it operates. UTSA expects to choose a consultant this month to oversee development of plans for a reimagined downtown campus. UTSA President Taylor Amy wants to see the university's urban campus become a more livable hub. The expected launch point for that transformation is a site known as Cattleman Square, just north of existing campus buildings, where Amy envisions a new multi-story, mixed-use development that will replace an existing surface parking lot. Thanks, Tony. Links to these stories online at klrn.org news.